I have committed to my university, but my university hasn't committed to me. You can't make plans. So when my children were small, could I actually afford to put them in a summer camp? It means that I didn't have benefits. So when you go and the physician says, you need to put both your kids on whatever medication, um, there were times I had to balance that. I couldn't afford both. I'm really good at my job. I, I enjoy my job. I care for my students. I need my employer to step up. I think one of the first things would be that contract faculty are paid equally for work of equal value. We are paid thousands of dollars less. An increase in, in our pay and benefits would be number one. If I had that extra money, I'd go to the dentist. I wouldn't worry about what are the cheapest glasses I could get. I might buy some new clothes to teach in. I'd give my kids money for school. I put some money away for retirement. I've been doing this a very long time. And retirement scares the hell out of me because I don't think I can. I think one of the things I feel hopeful about for Bill 148 is that there are changes that are being proposed that will affect a large proportion of Ontarians, uh, and I think that is good. So a union is able to pull us together. It is a common effort, a common front, a common source of education and information. I don't think that the majority of taxpayers, the majority of parents, or the majority of students would be comfortable knowing that they're being educated by people who are precariously employed and that despite the message from universities and governments and society that education is the path to success, those providing it are some of the most precarious. That's not right. Mm -hmm.